Welcome to another video from 254 Repair and this one we're going to go over the screen replacement of the new iPhone 6S. In this video we're going to cover the screen replacement with a screen that already has the 3D touch sensor. If you're looking for the video of the glass only replacement, we do have one too. So go ahead and click on the link that is appearing on your screen on this video and we will run you through the entire process of replacing just the glass on an iPhone 6s. So let's get started. Uh, we're going to fast forward to this part. We're going to remove all the screws that hold uh, the screen in place. The two bottom ones, as you can see, the screen is cracked and we are going to separate that screen from the frame. If you are wondering what's the difference between the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6S in this part of the process is that Apple actually put adhesive on the screen. So if you are performing this repair, be very careful removing the screen because the adhesive is going to make it a little bit harder to separate it in comparison to the iPhone 6. Now we're going to remove the screws that hold the EMI shield that covers the uh, LCD digitizer and microphone, uh, fingerprint scanner and all the other gadgets that are, are on the screen. In this part of the video, as you can see, we're using a metal tool to separate those flex cables. Uh, we already seen all the comments in all our previous uh, YouTube videos about not using metal tools, about turning the phone off before you work on it. Granted, those are legitimate comments. That is the right way to do it. If you are not familiar with the process, this is the way that we do it. And if you do not agree with it, you don't have to do it this way. We actually recommend that if this is the first time that you're going to replace a screen to make sure that you're using plastic tools. Here's our new screen and what we are going to do right now is transfer all the small components, home button, uh, ear speaker, and into the new screen. So we're going to go ahead and get started and remove all the screws that hold, that hold the back plate in place. And once we remove the back plate, we are going to remove also the home button and the ear speaker and all the rest of the peripherals, peripherals that are on that um, broken screen. Because all those small components need to be transferred to the new one. Keep in mind that if you break the home button flex cable or if you damage the home button in any way shape or form and you decide to replace it your home button may wo will work as a home button but that's it the fingerprint scanner is actually synced to the logic board of your phone so if you were to rip that flex cable when you replacing the home button the new home button that you will put in place will not work as a fingerprint scanner now let's finish removing the ear speaker plate and the flex cable that is um, folded on top of that ear speaker. After that, you will see the front facing camera, microphone, proximity sensor, uh, flex cable exposed, and we are going to remove that. Um, we are going to fast forward most of this process because it's very slow and tedious. But when you are doing it, the one thing that you want to keep in mind is that you do not want to pull too hard on those flex cables. You want to use your uh, metal separate your, your metal tool that you are using to separate uh, the flex cables which are glued to the screen in order to not pull on them because that's how the flex cables get damaged and then you will be replacing that circuit too. So let's continue removing this metal uh, plate behind your 3D touch sensor. And uh, the one difference between the iPhone 6 and the 6S 
is that this metal plate has two little adhesive strips on each side on the top on the opposite side from what you see in right now and we're going to go ahead and proceed and remove them once you remove those two two adhesive strips that are holding the screen holding the metal plate in place you can go ahead and remove it and uh, proceed to the rest of the of the repair Now that we got the metal plate off the screen, now we're going to remove the microphone, which in this case is glued pretty hard to the screen. So in this case, what we did was remove the entire ear speaker mesh and then remove the ear speaker mesh from the microphone. That way we made sure that the microphone was not damaged. So now we are ready to put the small components into the new screen. So the first thing that we're going to do is glue the microphone in the right sp spot. We're going to use the little dot on the top as a guide of where exactly the microphone goes so the microphone doesn't get covered by adhesive. Now we're going to place the camera and the ear speaker and the plate and we're going to make sure that it's properly aligned and that there is contact with the ear speaker. Now we're going to remove the rest of the adhesive that is around it and we're going to place the screws where they belong. As you can see we're making sure that every single screw goes back to where it came from. Those screws are made of different length and you do not want to mix them up. Now in this part of the process, we made a little mistake. You don't worry, you're gonna have to deal with a lot of uh, issues or well, you're not gonna waste your time too much, but it's good for you to see the mistake that we made so you don't make it, so you don't you just do it yourself. Um, the one thing that we did here was to leave that red plastic protector inside. So we're gonna go ahead and take it apart and remove it and then finish putting it back together the plate and the rest of the components. As you can see, there is we right now what we're doing is removing the the insulation that is on top of the backlight circuit because the new screen didn't came with it. So we're gonna remove that and put it on the new on the new screen to make sure that there's no shorts once you close the once you put together the phone. And like I said previously, we're going to go ahead and remove that plastic, uh, that red plastic protector that is covering the uh, new screen. 
and we're going to proceed with the rest of the repair. Now we're going to go ahead and transfer the home button and fingerprint scanner from the old screen to the new one. We are done with the home button now, so we are going to put the plate and secure the um, rest of the screws that hold the back plate in place. Now we're going to arrange those flex cables in the way that they're supposed to go so they actually uh, reach the connectors on the logic board. Once that is completed, it's time to um, test the screen, make sure that it works before we close the phone. And once that is done, you have completed repairing the iPhone 6S. As you can see now, we do have image on the LCD and we do have touch. So this completes the assembly portion of the screen. The last two things that we need to do is position the screen, put it back into the frame of the phone, carefully snap it in, in place. Do not put too much pressure. You might break it if you do, and that will defeat the whole purpose of your repair. And once you complete that part, uh, the last two, the last two screws, and that's it. That will complete the entire repair. Thank you for watching our video, and I hope this was uh, useful for you. That for you to learn how to repair your phone or to learn how to repair iPhone 6s in general. 
Thank you very much and please subscribe to our channel, give us a like and don't forget that we have another video that covers the glass only replacement on the iPhone 6s. Don't forget to um, visit our website and look at the different services that we provide and we might be able to help you with your phone issues even if this video is old. Remember we are constantly making new ones. Hopefully we'll be making another one for the iPhone 7 when it comes out. Thank you.